Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Obviously you can tell by the title, this is my match preview for the Liverpool Brighton game this coming Saturday. Um, obviously you know what I do about this, I talk about the next five that we've got coming up because we haven't played five games in the league yet. And then obviously talk about what Liverpool's got coming up. And I'll try to explain. Obviously I like the three points to go bright and way. But unfortunately I can't see it. But no other matter really after the uh, three points against United. Because if we win, we're four points ahead of last season. If we lose, we're two points ahead of last season. And then we come down here, we play the cup game, and then we've got a league game against Fulham. Um, but I'll tell you a bit more about that in this video. But guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. Um, yeah, as I was just saying, um, you know, if we do pick up a point, or the three, even though I'm, hard, I'm very finding it hard to see, um, who, who knows in the world of football? I mean, I don't think a lot of people expect us to beat United down here again for the second time uh, in the space of three months. But we did it, so... Um, but if we go away to Liverpool and pick up a point or three, obviously I'll be over the moon. But even if we lose, I'm not going to get too downhearted about it. I did put them in my top two in my table predictions so they're gonna have to live up to that expectation as well as me um, predicting that City will win the league you know it's they've got an expectation to live up to uh, their supporters and we've also we've got our own expectations of Brighton down here um, Obviously, as I said in my uh, United Vlog for points, but I'll tell you that more in a later episode. Um, now, our next five games goes like this. We obviously go to Liverpool. And then this is the running. We've got Southampton in the uh, Cup. Uh, there will be a match for that, so don't you worry if you can't make it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that vlog. Uh, I am heading down to the Annex to watch it. And then we've got Fulham at home. Yeah, again, if you can't make it, don't worry. I am making that journey back to the Annex for the league game. Southampton away. Now, um, yeah, yeah, again, I'm making the journey down to the Southampton for that game. So if you can't make it, don't worry about it, I'll cover it for you. As I said, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm trying my hardest to go to the trunk, actually go to every Brighton home and away game. Uh, show your support to me. Uh, just subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. Especially this week where there is a um, double upload on a Monday. Um, so. Um, and then we go City away. Now yet again, I'm making a journey north to City. Um, as I said, I will be covering Liverpool and all the five games as well. So if you can't make it for whatever reason, I will cover it for you. As I said, just make sure you drop a subscribe and uh, your notifications bells on because that way you never miss an upload either. Um, now I've realised as well that even though we don't play Liverpool till late, we um, that means I won't get home till late Saturday evening, early Sunday morning. So the upload will come on Sunday at some point. I'll try and get up to you by maybe 12 o'clock, maybe a bit later. Uh, it depends how how I feel uh, coming all the way back from Liverpool. Um, but the next Liverpool five games are now they don't play in the cup to the next round. Um, which why I ain't bringing in 
to my prediction video until all the teams are in it and they're all fighting for it. Uh, they got Leicester in the league away. They got Spurs at Wembley. Excuse me. Um, now while we're on the verge of Spurs, um, we um, I ain't got a new ground ready. Um, now I remember when I said we're going to have a new ground in a year. I was like, okay. Uh, if you take for example the MX, it's smaller than Tottenham's ground, but it took us about six years to complete it and they were working day in, day out. Uh, now I know uh, Tottenham's ground they're working day in and night out, but it does take a lot to build a stadium. Now, when Tottenham was like, oh, we're going to have it done in a year, um, we're going to move in Wembley for a year, I was like, it's going to be longer than a year. But, you know, good luck to Tottenham trying to get it done. Um, now, obviously, they have came with a collision course. They're supposed to have a home game. Um, as I've said, they're using Wembley again. Um, but Wembley got an NFL game due at Wembley at the same time, and they can't play both. Um, so I'm interested to see how Spurs get out of that one. Uh, and obviously, there'll be more about that in my match preview for the Tottenham game. Um, and then they go to Southampton. I oh know, sorry, Southampton got up to them. Uh, and then they go to Chelsea away and City at home. Um, now, if I was going to call these three points vital, I won't call them vital as much as I was with my United preview. Um, as I said, we're points ahead, no matter which way this weekend goes. But it is crucial for the Fulham game and then maybe onwards. Um, we all remember Spurs at home last season. Uh, point of peace, late penalty for Brighton. Um, so I'm interested to uh, see that game again this season. But as I said, you know, it's not really crucial that we get points at Liverpool. It's more crucial that we go to Liverpool, enjoy ourselves, get beyond the team, back the team, uh, back the manager. You know, we've got three points against United. We ain't gonna... I don't feel like I'll turn Liverpool over up there. Um, I've been up there, this has been my second time up there, I went up there about five years ago in the FA Cup where they uh, beat us 6-1. They're unbelievable, Brighton scored more goals than Liverpool did, just in the wrong net. But anyway, I'm going to take you guys with me for this one. So, as I said, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, um, turn your notifications on, and I'll do my best to keep take you with me and to let you know what's going on um, obviously if you haven't watched my vlog I'm now cover corners free kicks penalties I'm trying to bring more into the vlog uh, trust me I'm trying to work out how I can bring more bits in um, obviously I've tried to do a bit of active in play as well but it's a lot harder than uh, what it might look like um, I remember when United had a corner that Brighton were third on the attack, that's how I managed to cover that. But if it came from a goal kick, the likes of me actually doing it, it would have been a lot harder. So, you know, if I do make any mistakes, please do forgive me, I am trying my best. Um, but anyway, here's my 1 to 11. In goal, Matty Ryan. Uh, Excellent game against United. I ain't going to slack anyone off that United game. Uh, excellent game, excellent save. Um, but yeah, Matt Ryan and no. Right, right back, Martin Montoya. Had an excellent debut against Man United. He looked skillful on the ball, he looked sharp. I'm looking forward to seeing him a lot this season. Uh, Centre back. Leon Brooker. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. I probably have. I do apologise. Um, 
obviously Dunk's injured, looks like weeks, not months, but I'm still not 100% sure how long he is out for. Um, in the other centre back position, Shane Duffy. Uh, well done, Shane, on your first Premier League goal against United. Uh, nice fault. I've watched it back a few times now, being a Brighton fan. And I, I do like how you picked that spot out and took the hay out the other way. Um, in left back, I'm going with Gareth Bong. Um, had an excellent game against United. As I said, they all had an excellent game. Uh, I think Bernardo might be a bit behind on these match play, but that will come in the long term. I remember when uh, Shiloto first came to this club, played him against Tottenham. He looked off, but he finally got out there. Um, in left mid, I'll go with Sonny March. Um, as I've already said, they all had an excellent game. He's another one that uh, perhaps could have set up one or two more goals, but the United defenders got to it before Murray could. Um, in centre mid, uh, I'll go with Dale Stevens. One. <laughs> I'll go with David Popper in the uh, other centre mid position. Um, now in right mid, some of you might disagree, some of you might agree. I'll go with Anthony Knockhart. Um, now, with Knockhart, OK, he did have an off game against Watford. They all had an off game, if we're all honest. But he up to again against United. Um, so, you know, uh, I, think it's, I think it's fair now that we do put Watford behind us and uh, try and move on. I know a lot of you guys find that, might find it a bit hard to do, but we've got to try our best. Um, uh, now, as every week, it's a 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one formation. Just behind the striker, I'm going with Paston Groves. Uh, excellent penalty against United. Uh, dirty foul by uh, Bailey, or where, where, however you pronounce it, um, Bying, I think they pronounce it. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Um, nice penalty against the Hay. I just went in, I'll, uh, I'll admit, by coming off the Hay's leg. But I hit it hard enough with enough power to bounce off the leg and then to go in. Um, now, in my strikers, now. Obviously, I'm going to put him there because he did score against United, but we need him to keep keep scoring. Um, but anyway, you know who it is. It's going to be. Um, as I said, I've done an excellent goal against United. Uh, got a cup game on Tuesday, which means part of my double upload it will be my match preview for the Southampton game. And don't worry, it will be a makeshift lineup. So hopefully, I'm not too far away from Chris's predictions for that game. But anyway, guys, I'm ending this video here. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.